All right, what is up, Storm Chasers? We are back. Let me get, move this mic a little closer. We back in the building, and we need to talk about Fresh and Fit. All right, they are um, a, a podcast in the Red Pill, the Manosphere. And let me just say this, the Red Pill, the Manosphere, the so-called conscious community truly turned out to be, well, let's just say a lowly sack of shit. They truly turned out to be fake and phony and ended up becoming everything that they preached against. You know, it was one thing for these different communities to preach the real when they were broke. But as soon as they got a little bit of cash, they ran right to European ass. And so can y'all hear me? We're going to get into this story. You got fit. You got fresh. Fit is uh the, the Arab brown skin looking one, tall one named Myron. And then fresh is the short little ugly one. Um, and I think his real name is Walter, but I just call him Lil Ugly, Lil Ugly, Lil Bill, Lil Charlie, whatever, the, whatever you want to call him. Um, he then um uh, skeeted in his poor Chinese immigrant um girlfriend, aka escort, aka ho, side ho, side chick, concord, conquest. All right, he done nutted in her chow lo mein one too many times, and she got a little Mongolian beef swirling around in her uterus right now and now he is trying to send her poor chinese ass to the uh baby chop shop to go chop up the baby and i guess put it in a bucket of orange chicken you know i guess he says shit your people eat everything else they chop up everything else go ahead and string that fetus up out of your uterus and throw it over a middle pole like y'all doing y'all land where Kobe came from and you know put it put it, I don't know put it with some with, with some with some squid or you know put it in a soup you know if it's one thing about Chinese people they know how to make a good soup so he don't want his little baby his little ugly baby that's on the way I will say when it comes to these podcasts that's a, supposed to speak to young men and teach young men I've come to the conclusion that not all of them are bad and some of them have some good information, but for the most part, they literally make money off of the undesirables, right? In a male community, they make money off of uh, 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 niggas with daddy issues, you know, uh, uh, the brothers with daddy issues, the crack ass crackers with daddy issues. The, uh, the the taco eat bean eat uh, uh, free whole list men with, with daddy issues. That's really what they tend to market off of and profit off of. Um, they truly become everything that they preach against. You know, the Fresh and Fit show. And I noticed because I, I, I go and I, I was never really a fan, but I've seen some shows <clears throat> so I can make an educated opinion. And when they bring somebody on and they talk about how to improve your money, how to improve your life, and they talk about male self-accountability, those views are low. But when they're mm -hmm. screaming and yelling and are very aggressive uh, with women, those views are very high, especially black women. You know, they claim they don't like y'all. They don't date y'all. They claim you ugly, you nappy headed, you a night rider, you a midnight hoe, this, that, and a third. Yet they always bring you up and talk against you. And, um, you know, I don't know. I don't, I don't know much about where myron and walter come from i you know I'm, I'm pretty sure they came from big black pussies well walter definitely came from a big black pussy maybe myron came from a big brown pussy salty pussy sandy pussy i don't know but nonetheless um you know they just they just some of them is cool and a lot of them are just absolutely fucking idiots um i would never understand why men who or just gonna be out here doing them and slanging sausage, especially Lil Ugly. Now, at least with Fit, he's tall. He, you know, he had to buy some edges because you know his edges was gone. You know, I mean, you know, he had to buy some new edges. So we got some tacky yaki uh glued on his head from Turkey. But at least he's halfway decent look, looking with decent genetics. And Lil Ugly over there is is just Lil Ugly. I mean, I don't know who would want to have a child by him. You know, but I guess the money is enough. I guess a lot of women be looking at it like, look, you know, even if the baby look like him, I can get it plastic surgery. But stop doing y'all children like that. Stop procreating with little uglies. You know, uh, ugly genes are dominant. All right. I don't care how good the dick is. I don't care how sweet he is. Just know if that nigga ugly, that baby going to look just like him. And a lot of y'all watching me right now got little girls that look just like your ugly baby daddy. And the only reason why they're here is because he had good dick. Please start thinking about the children. 
Now, when it comes to the Fresh and Fit show, the audience is calling for Fresh, aka Little Ugly, to be sent back on the banana boat that he came from. Um, you know, he doesn't really add anything to the show. He got a stutter, a real bad speech impediment. He sounded like he should have been in class with Sukiyana and Sexy Red. You know, in that class all the way down the hall, that storage container on the other side of the campus. That's definitely, you know, what he gave. But, um, yeah, you know, it, it it is what it is. And now a little ho is a little pregnant with some Mongolian beef and you know, uh, she she wasn't thinking about God when he was skeeting in her guts, when he was putting all that cornstarch corn starch pudding in her guts. She wasn't tripping off of that. But now she said God don't want her to kill the baby. And, you know, he still doesn't understand because he says, shit, my people eat anything and your people definitely eat anything and everything. I mean, you go behind any Chinaman shop, you're going to see all kinds of chopped up dogs and cats and rats and they put that shit in some soy sauce and, and, and some oyster sauce and that shit tastes good. And, you know, we eat that shit up. So at the end of the day, you know, he claimed ain't no more money. She claims he needs to step up and be a man. He was never a man. He was just a man that you. Um, it's crazy to me how he, he took this little Chinese poor immigrant girl uh, uh, to meet his family and to meet his friends only for him to constantly skeet at her multiple times a day and then, you know, just tell her to take a pill and get rid of it. You know, it's also interesting to me how <laughs> these men out here, you know, he, he told her apparently, hey, I'm going to have multiple women. I'm going to do me. And I'm just like, why does a little ugly think he's entitled to multiple women? I'm like, damn, that's why you ain't got no fucking money. You didn't spit all the ass since money. Now, they took your monetization. I'm not laughing at that. That was bad enough. But, you know, just imagine at one point, Fresh and Fit, they was over there making about 200K a month during the pandemic. And to go from that to whatever they getting off of Rumble and, and courses and donations and you know, whatever the fuck. Yeah, let me tell you something, little Chinese girl. You might want to scrape your uterus clean. Um, and I'm not telling you to stick a sword in your uterus and kill yourself for disgracing your family. But this is going to be a confused ass little child. And this is what you got to understand. Chinese folk don't like us like that. They don't they, they don't really even consider us attractive like that. And so. You know, she's either going to be a single mom in this country, and but, you know, you is Chinese, you got straight hair, you got pale skin. And so, you know, a nigga with money will still wife you up at the end of the day. You got to protect, you know, the, the complexion for protection. But back home, they're not going to give a damn about her. They're going to throw that baby away. Ain't no telling how they're going to treat that baby. The baby going to get older, going to look more puggish and less Asian. It's going to be rough for Lil Ugly and Lil Ugly Jr. that she's probably pregnant with. So, um... Let's go ahead and let's start getting into these clips. And let's go from there. I will say this, you know, Myron is definitely the brains over there at, at the operation of Fresh and Fit because he'll, um, Fresh can't even, you know, he can't even speak a coherent sentence. Shit is wild. So let's get right on into it. Happened. I can't. In my religion, we don't care. You're not killing it. Okay. I want to keep the baby. Okay. Well, like I said, I just don't want the kids. Pregnant. I can't pretending like nothing happened. I'm I can't. Pregnant. In my religion, we don't care. I'm pregnant. pregnant. Okay. I want to keep the baby. Okay. Well, like I said, I just don't want the kids. Pregnant. I can't. Uh, like I said, I just don't want any kids. Like, you... Let me tell you something. Um, you poor Asian immigrant, this is who you want to have a baby by? This is who you want to have a baby by? A, a nigga with a stutter that can't even get through a coherent sentence? Uh, I didn't want it. I didn't want it. I didn't want it. I didn't want it. You really want to have this fool's baby? You think this is smart? Is this your black king? I just can't believe it. And said that I got her pregnant when I fucking did it. And then you dumbasses, three years later, believe some bitch that makes the same fucking allegations again. You fucking idiots. I'm not going anywhere. 
I'm staying right fucking here. All right? These guys were with me in my darkest times. I'm not going to fucking leave them in their darkest times. Fuck you, motherfuckers. I got my real estate. I got my money. I'm fine. I'm not going anywhere. I can't be bought. That was real. Even that clip right there. Even that clip right there. Myron is giving the monologue. He is performing for his life. Because I got to understand, those fans over there want fresh gone. They say get a little ugly off the screen. We tired of him. He adds nothing to the equation. He adds nothing to the show. He does nothing but hold Myron back. But the truth of the matter is, fresh actually invested the majority of the money in the brand. So little ugly is here to stay. But didn't I tell y'all a while back he was going to be the downfall of that poor cuz? But even in that moment, when Fit is giving the monologue of his life, performing for his life like a transvestite on RuPaul's Drag Race, and Fresh ruins the moment by saying, oh, that was real. You goddamn dummy! Yeah, no, YouTube took their monetization. They still have their channel, but YouTube took their monetization. That's the ultrasound right there. Little fetus looking a little ugly, just like his little daddy. I'm four weeks pregnant now, and today I did the ultrasound. I have blood test. So it's four weeks. So this is the paper I went for today. And I posted earlier, but somebody told me to take it down because my name Thank you, Militant. It. Appreciate it. I that. posted with my name because just to make sure I'm not faking it. This is the, the test of the result. It's positive. And I also did a, I also had a STD test. I just have to make sure, you know, he was fucking somebody else as well without a countdown. Uh, uh, ultrasound? Oh, and this is the ultrasound. That's the ultrasound. And this is my name. Oh, I'm four weeks pregnant. Now. All right. Yeah, so now. Ultrasound. So now. Hold up. Hold up. Oh, no. I can't show the last picture. So now let's really talk about it. She said, I'm four weeks pregnant. I've never heard of somebody getting an ultrasound at four weeks. Now, listen, knock on wood, I ain't never had nobody pregnant, but I always thought women knew around like the six week mark, not four. So I'm a little bit suspect right there. Like, damn, bitch, you you went right after this nigga, nothing than you and all. Four month, four week shit. So he, so today is April 7th. So he literally, uh, 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 nothing than you, uh, March 6th. I thought it was like six to eight weeks normally. They say four weeks is possible now, six to twelve. I listen. I did to for me. It was all I've always heard women say six weeks. Six. I found it out six weeks pregnant. Six weeks. So now I'm kind of wondering was she pregnant already? But I'm, I'm just saying. Why Russia said I knew three weeks later. Wow. Maybe she's skinny, but she's in shape. She does work out a lot. You can get an ultrasound at four weeks. It's possible to know at four weeks. Wow. Okay, every woman is different. I thought it was usually around six. I thought it was normally around six. Okay, now I want to hop over to there. Let's hop over to TikTok and then we're gonna hop over to her interview with Abba and Preach. Uh wait, somebody just sent Kiana said, Stone, can we get Cynthia on the show? I need I can reach out to Cynthia. I ain't I think I ain't heard from Cynthia in a little bit. Hope she's doing well. Y'all know that's my girl. So let's get into Myra telling the full story and exposes the woman who claims to be pregnant by fresh. Let's get into it. And then you dumbasses, three years later, believe some bitch that makes the same fucking allegations again. You fucking idiots. I'm not going anywhere. 
I'm standing right fucking here. Hey, let me just fucking say something. She's mad because Fresh didn't want to get her a fucking apartment in Miami. Ta-da! There you guys fucking go, all right? She's mad because Fresh didn't want to fucking get her an apartment in Miami, and he didn't want to be with her no more. That's why she's doing all this shit, all right? She did a pregnancy test before in fucking Barbados, and it came back negative. Sorry, I had to fucking say this shit. It's fucking annoying me, these fucking ass clowns in the chat talk, saying all this bullshit, whatever. There's a high likelihood it's not true, and she's doing this shit because she knows that she's done. She knows that he don't want to be with her no more. So she's like, let me take the fucking building down with me. Let me burn this bitch down and make it. Now, even if she's lying, because hoes do be lying, she could not lie and make all of this up if Fresh was not nutting inside of her like an idiot. And speaking of that side note, I remember when I had spent that week in a DR. I stayed in this uh, Airbnb in uh, Santo Domingo. And I remember I ran into this Haitian lady who she was like, you, you get my daughter pregnant. You will pick one. She was showing me her daughters. You, 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 you pick whichever one you want. We got to get to Miami. We want to get to Miami. Please take us to Miami. What? Why do all the, why is everybody trying to get to Miami? Why is everybody trying to get to Miami? Uh, Bring Joy said, why is he doing all the talking? Are they a couple? He daddy. He daddy. You know, we know he daddy. He daddy. It can look terrible. Let me record this fucking phone call pre and premeditated. Call it. Make him get a reaction so I can put this shit on the Now internet. you're the victim. I thought these were alpha males. How were you the victim when I thought y'all was alpha males? Where is the accountability? Where is the accountability? And the best thing about this is, black women, this is not y'all problem. Don't y'all love when y'all not their preference and they, <laughs> they go through their preference like shit? I thought men were the leaders. I thought men set the tone. I thought men, I thought men led the path. So I can't give you no sympathy like you a big baby. You alpha. The first letter in alpha is A. A stands for what? Accountability. Why are we trying to act like he's a victim? Melanie Queen said, I don't feel no ways. It's his karma since he wants to talk down on what black women do. He's out He's out here creating broken homes. I hope she gets the bag. I don't know if there really is a bag anymore. That's the problem. And you know what I love about this? Their own audience is holding them accountable. I got more respect for the Fresh and Fit audience than the Fresh and Fit hosts. The Fresh and Fit audience is like, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. How do you say you the leader, but you're putting off your account? Your, you, you skidded in her. You did. And now y'all about to pay that exotical tax. Fresh is going to pay it out of what's ever left out of his bank account. Might be time to start selling those Lambos and those Rolexes. But you're going to cry like a bitch when you got to sell those cars and go back to driving a Honda or a Toyota. Why, little ugly? Because didn't no woman pay attention to you until you got some money, little ugly. That's why you came to the table with all that money, little ugly. Yeah, Myron is a mammy, but Myron at least had a career beforehand. Uh, Lil Ugly wasn't doing nothing but fucking fat-ass white women in the islands before he made it over to Florida. Lil Ugly claims to have a thousand body count, and it, 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 as if that's a fucking accomplishment, he sounds like a walking SDI. They made that kind of money, yes. During the pandemic, Fresh and Fit Podcast was making... Every bit of a hundred to two hundred thousand a month. Yes, yes, ma'am. Why you think they cried like that when that mon I'd have cried too. I'd have cried like a bitch losing that kind of money. 
Baby, when I tell you, I a boy, that had me calling daddy. <laughs> I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. How does it feel, oh, yeah, to be exposed for being a fucking liar? How did they get demonetized? I believe it was for hate speech. We can go back and look later. How does it feel, yeah? How does it feel, Myron, to know that your co-host is gonna single-handedly sink y'all ship? What what's ever left of it? Because without those, without your male followers, what you gonna do? Hmm? What you gonna do, Myron? What you gonna do, little ugly? What you gonna do? You can't go pander to women now, too late for that. You can't become pro-black. You've literally worn a, 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 a KKK Ku Klux Klan mask. Can you go back to your job with the FBI, Myron? I don't know. But that breakup is going to be epic. Why are you going this hard for a man that ain't even going this hard for itself? I mean, shit, I know Cat got your tongue look ugly, but at least say something. Say something! I know it must suck, Myra, and I, and I ain't giving you too much slack. You or your hair plugs. You're giving 7-Eleven manager in the face and Tory Lanez by the head. I'm not giving you no, no, I'm not letting you off either. But I'm just saying, how does it feel you? They have to drag, drag this nigga along with you when you know that you could probably fly high without him. How does it? Feel, yeah. How does it feel to love somebody that ain't good for you? You know what's crazy? I ain't never seen. Well, we ain't never seen you go hard at nothing, Walter. Except, I mean, these uh poor Asian immigrants. That's the only thing you went hard at. You know what? With a thousand plus body count, Walter, you may have a better career in porn. Really think about it. He can be ugly like he is. He ain't got to necessarily be in shape. He uses sausage. That's really all you good for. You're nothing more than a common book. I mean, you would have been chained up in, 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 a, in a barn or some kind of outhouse and just would have been forced to constantly breed for massa, except you're not tall enough and you don't have any muscle tone to your body. So I mean, you know, I don't know if Massa really, really would have wanted to reproduce Jabba the Hutt or, you know, little pug ass slaves. You really skeeted and skeeted and skeeted in this poor Asian immigrant that came over here on a Delta flight? You skeeted and skeeted and skeeted in her and you didn't think she was going to get pregnant? I believed a little poor Asian immigrant when you told her you wanted her to have your baby. I believe it. Because you would do anything to have a baby that ain't look ugly like you, that don't look like you, your brothers, your sisters, your mammies, and your aunties. You probably don't know what your pappy look like because I'm, I'm sure your pappy ain't really around. Your pappy probably went from island to island knocking up Little immigrants just like you. Maybe you got a picture of them in your wallet or somewhere on your wall. I don't know. You love that girl. And you you was taking a liking to that girl. No, you liked it what she represented. Because when you had that attractive poor Asian immigrant on your arm, you finally felt like the big man. Something that you had never been. Something that you never was and something that you never will be. Now this podcast is called Fresh and Fit. I don't see you. I, I don't see Nan, one of you niggas working out. 
And I don't see uh, 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 Walter uh, being all that fresh. He dressed like a 55-year-old uncle at a cookout. That ain't really fresh. I ain't fresh. I ain't fresh. You not. Let me tell you something, little ugly. Wearing Prada, Christian Louboutin, Yves Saint Laurent, Gucci, and Coach does not make you fresh. It don't make you fresh, and it don't make Marlo Hampton fresh either. It makes you simply a label whore. So if we want to call this fresh and whore, I'm okay with calling this fresh and whore. Now, since you want to go around impregnating poor Asian immigrants and being good for nothing but, you know, your meat stick, then maybe Myron should take you out back like the slave that you are and give you 35 lashings across your back. He should tie you up to a pole like Kunta Kinte and make you renounce all of that unprotected sex you've been having with them poor Asian immigrants. That's the only way we're going to forgive you, Myron. Take your slave because you, you is his slave. Myron, do all the talking because you would fuck up everything. I hope you niggas never get in trouble with the law because Walter would get you motherfuckers 30 years behind bars. Tie him up to a tree and give him 30 lashings for bringing shame to an already dreadful, dirty, and damn near destitute podcast. They've had to downsize on a condo, downsize on the spending, and even downsize on the hoes. Even the quality of whores that they use for content has, has, has decreased. All because your outside activities is fucking up this shit that you talk on camera. Because you're not really that. I saw that when Mike Rasheed and Brandon Carter was 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 at the table. Real alpha males that didn't have to put down women in order to get a laugh. Now, if it's one thing you can do fresh to save, uh, no, fit, sorry, fresh, you can't do shit. If it's one thing, well, well, you know what? The post office is hiring, fresh. The post office is hiring. Everybody that's in the Miami area, drop up, put, put in some jobs as hiring because child support finna tear up that ass. But fit, I mean, what you could do fit is bring DJ Academics and his fat ass to this podcast because I mean that's that's that was the most entertaining shows you ever had. Now Academics ain't shit and gotta constantly purport himself to be something that he not because he know them women don't enjoy pushing up them folds to suck his dick. DJ Academics know don't none of them little skinny hoes love and care about him. That's why he spent all that check to keep him around. That's why he allows them to disrespect him and throw McDonald's and, and all kinds of white sauce all over his face while he don't lie. DJ Academics got such low fucking self-esteem that he uh, 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 allowed his boys to run a train on his hoe. He damn near caught a rape charge and didn't check the niggas. Was ready to check the bitch. Check the niggas, nigga. And this is y'all leader? This this is who's raising the next generation of men? I feel sorry for Generation Z. These little girls finna really suffer if this is who they look into. And all cause there's so many daddies that ain't in the home no more. Didn't you know how it felt to not have a father look ugly? Didn't you know how it felt to constantly look in the mirror Day after day, week after week, month after month, and constantly hear that you look just like your black ass pappy, but he was nowhere around. To then have to come over and risk your life on a banana boat, swallowing all that ocean water, you finally making it to Miami, working your ass off just to become something because a chick won't give you the time of day because you is look ugly. Only for you to squander it. 
because you should not be in charge of your own life. See, there are people that can be in charge of their own affairs, and there are people that need to be told what to do. And Myra, you've been letting your slave have a little bit too much freedom. See, this is what happens when you treat a field nigga like a house nigga. He done got a little bit too comfortable with that good air conditioning and that public toilet, that, 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 that indoor toilet. It's time to put him back out on the fields and start making him use outhouses like his people is used to. Give him a little iPhone, give him a little mic to strap to his shirt, tape it to his shirt so he don't lose it. And let him do some interviews. Oh, God, you can't even have him do on the street interviews because he can't talk. How do you have a podcast and you can't even talk? Fresh, you are a dummy, bitch. You will never be shit. Don't nobody want you. And don't nobody need you. You know you add nothing to that podcast. And Myron is stringing you along because you made the initial investment and he has this sense of loyalty to you. Why is he truly that loyal to you? What's the nature of y'all relationship? That's what I want to know. Big brother, little brother. Daddy, son, if this is your little brother, fit because you definitely give big and he give little, go beat his ass for being out of line and stream it to your fans. Call it the redemption show and beat his ass until he gets it and understands and then hold him like a brother and tell him that you're only doing it because you love him and it's going to hurt you more than it hurts him. Put it on Instagram stories immediately after, right? And that's what I mean when I say you ask clowns, don't know what the fuck is going on in the fucking chat talking about you. Bro, the depression, bro, so bad. He killed a baby. Nigga, there probably isn't a baby there. That's what I'm trying to tell you, motherfuckers. It happened to me. What is it? You guys remember three years ago, some fucking chick, three weeks later? Oh, I'm pregnant. It was a fucking lie. She used that shit to do a media run, went everywhere, did interviews all over the place, ran her OnlyFans up. Did you guys forget about that? Did you guys forget about that? That shit happened to me too. This bitch lied and said that I got a pregnant when I fucking did it. And then you thought. <laughs> oh my God. Where you get your eyebrows done, Myra? I need to go get my eyebrows done. My eyebrows is on point. Now, that being said, let's go over. Hold up. We're going we to end with the ab and preach. They then bring a family attorney, James Sexton, right? By the way, who made this fool? What's the other girl, Nadia, Sadia, that, that uh, Indian chick talking about relationship? Who made these people famous? Who told these people that they was uh, somebody to show us and tell us something? Let me say this, and let me look in the camera when I say this to people who follow these people and their advice you're poor you're poor you have a negative net worth your grandmammy on medicaid and you're gonna work until you die You don't have to fear getting married and a woman taking half of what you got. Because, see, I made it all the way to calculus in high school. I made it to calculus and then I quit after calculus because they started talking about these imaginary numbers. And if they was imaginary, I didn't know why I had to learn about them because they don't exist. Anyway, um, but even in basic math, intermediary, advanced, even when I got to calculus, one thing was always true. That zero divided by two was still zero. 
in a negative divided by a negative, oh my God, was even more negative. So at the end of the day, need not you fear, niggas. You don't have anything. So there's nothing to take. So I don't know why y'all brought on a family attorney, a divorce attorney is what he is. When they and one of y'all have never been married and you didn't marry this girl, you simply made an illegitimate child with a poor Chinese immigrant. Ain't nothing an attorney can do for you. You can't get around child support. It is what it is. Need you not fear, niggas? It's okay. I'm so sick of hearing y'all get on Kendra G show. Shout out to Kendra G with her thick ass. She thick as a thick, thicker than a snicker. Uh, shout out to Kendra G, thicker than a snicker. Uh, uh, the the other pretty lady that do the day and show, Ashley something. I don't remember her last name, and I don't care. Uh, but she always dressed and fly. Uh, 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 anybody else that tries to help you ignorant niggas and, and niggeresses too. Half of zero is still zero. But y'all not losing nothing by getting married. I promise you, you not. I'm so sick of y'all talking about these imaginary businesses. Talking about these empires, baby, the United States is an empire. Everybody can't have no empire in an empire. That doesn't make sense because somebody got to work the empire. I'm so sick of folks talking about they looking for a man with an empire. You ain't going to never find it. They don't exist, baby. It, it don't exist. It's fake. These people that get online, they lie. They get on their show, they get on their show and they lie. Everybody don't make six figures. Everybody don't have a business. Because anybody can start an Etsy shop and that is no shade. But I'm just letting you know. People is living together. They putting their money together. They work in multiple jobs, selling a, selling a little dope and selling a little ass. And that's how people is making it, baby. You can't really go nowhere in no major city. Rent starting at 2K. You got to make two and a half to three times the rent to even get. So where do you think people making six to eight K of money? At? They, 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 they work in multiple jobs. They living together. They selling a little ass and selling a little weed and doing a little scamation, too. See, this is why I couldn't be president, because I'm going to tell y'all the real. Y'all going to say how to stimulate the economy. Sell some ass. Ha! Ladies, if you got a coochie that work, you should never be broke. Y'all Negroes get online and y'all spend all y'all time worried about the OnlyFans girls, the OnlyFans girls, the OnlyFans girls. Are you mad that these girls are selling ass or is you mad that you can't profit off of it no more? Because I was always told don't hate the player, hate the game. So without men spending money on sex workers, sex workers don't have a job. I, I'm just, it doesn't make sense. At the end of the day, this is how I know that women are truly the prize. And I'm not saying this to Panda, because I'll say this to anybody's face, because <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Y'all know I got issues and hell, and hell, y'all know I'm troubled in the brain. That's why I do this for a living. Um, when you look at these men, they have any kind of show, a podcast, a career, or sell book, they can't sell nothing without women. Like, that's the blueprint to making a lot of money. You either disrespect women so much that they want to come over to your show to cuss your ass out, or you pander to women so much that they just open up their pockets to you. That's really the game. 
And if you dark skin with big arms and a big chest and a medium T-shirt like Derek Jackson, you can become a multimillionaire. These men ain't talking about shit. And they're not making money off of manhood shit. They not. No, it all goes back to y'all. It goes back to women. It always does. Talking about y'all in some capacity. That's really the blueprint of making it. Like you really don't make no money off being smart like that. You make money in 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 modern times off of complaining about women or pandering or being fake and then being exposed for you know acting blue pill but really being red pill. Shout out to Derrick Jackson. Made all that money, never fixed that list. Got crazy ass Denea Jackson twerking in a wedding dress with a wine bottle in a Bible. I mean, I'm just like, what the fuck is going on? I don't know what's going to happen to the black community or the red. I don't know. I, I dare not say, y'all, I don't know if there's any hope. If if this is who's raising the next generation, who who is y'all doing? What? what? We don't have leaders anymore. Like they, they ain't making no more Martin Luther Kings. They ain't making no more Malcolm X's. They ain't making no more Marcus Garvey. They're not making no more of them. They making sassy ass podcasters with makeshift furniture. They're still mad at the little girl with the ponytail in the third grade that told him he was ugly. So he worked hard day and night to become some to prove to that third grade little ass girl that don't even remember that your black ass exists, that he was worth it and he was somebody. To then now become something to somebody and instead of using their powers for good, use their powers to just totally demean the opposite gender and constantly complain and complain and complain about the opposite gender. But okay, if we get rid of the opposite gender, then who are we going to fuck? Because I don't give a damn. You can go through any civilization throughout time, even when men and women were separated. Women can kind of be amongst each other and not carpet much, but men cannot be around each other and not dookie shoot fuck. So who are you going to screw if there is no women around? See, women got to be around because if women ain't around, somebody's got to get fucked. And if you think I'm lying, just look at prison culture. Quiet as it kept, look at military culture. Look at athletics. Shit gets homoerotic on the road and in the locker rooms. If Coochie go on strike, chaos will ensue. You know, like, I'm okay with men having their safe spaces and women having their safe spaces. And I've listened to both. And it's like, okay, I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. But at some point, I like, Teach me how to improve myself. I don't want to keep complaining about somebody. I'm just not a complainer. Is something wrong with me? Unless we're not, we're just not meant to coexist. And then, okay, but once again, who are we going to have sex with? Because men are going to have sex. And if Bucci becomes a new coochie, then we really got problems. Because then who is going to service the men? Or, or, or the stronger men then going to just overpower the weaker men and just start rape culture? I'm just saying, shit can get wild out here. But we are going... Or maybe this male versus female gender war is meant to lead us into a androgyny where everybody just becomes fluid in their sex and their gender and their orientation. That's the only thing I can think of because if we constantly bicker, 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 then what do you have? Like how can society reproduce if men and women hate each other? Who 
somebody's lying. Or is it going to be the trans people that beat her to serve the men? And then the men are low-key be happy because at least they can't get them pregnant. Somebody's like somebody's lying. Or somebody's not telling us the full truth. Anyway, all right, let's play this clip. I need to talk to you about the baby. What are we going to do about the baby? And surprisingly, instead of having that conversation like a civilized human being with a working prefrontal cortex, most of the time what they choose to do is to post it on social media because that's absolutely what a, a good future mom potentially or rational human being who's not just looking to shake someone down for money would do, you'd go right to social media. It certainly isn't the kind of thing a clout chasing no one would do. So ultimately, I want to congratulate you. That's the good news, is that you have officially arrived, my friend, and you are sitting among some of the greatest, most celebrated, wealthiest people in the world, many of whom I have represented, but you never heard anything really about it other than the little momentary blip that it came up, if at all, because they did what is now unfortunately going to be the bad news. And Let's just play the call real fast. Yeah. Let's just play it. Go for it. Um, obviously, I know that there's legal proceedings going on. Oh, go yeah. ahead. Go ahead, uh, Bills. My bad. I want the baby because I don't want to kill the baby. I don't want to kill nobody. I don't want to. You're not. They just give you a pill and it's over. No. Damn. No. I'm pregnant. No, but that's what I'm saying. The pill, they just give it to you from a doctor and then you're good. I am pregnant. I can't he said they just give you the pill and then you're good. So how many women have he sent to the children's chop shop? See, quiet as is kept, a lot of y'all think these women gonna go to hell for uh, uh, chopping and screwing their children, but you niggas gonna be busting hell wide open too with all these babies that y'all done sent to just get killed just because you can't stop nothing in the cooler. But are these the men that say they love children? They can't love children when they want them dead like that. Sir, ain't this what you wanted? You get to have a baby that has a 50% chance of not being a little ugly like you. Hmm. Pretending like nothing happened. I can't. In my religion, we don't kill. You're not killing Pause. Come pause. Okay. I, I, I don't know if you guys noticed, but she's using extreme language and she's calling, saying, I don't want to do this, etc. And she's fishing for a response. Mm -hmm. Right. It's very mm -hmm. obvious. And and the thing, too, is that, like, I mean, I know this, like there was an agreement that they weren't going to ever have kids. Like, wh but why is she calling now saying, oh, I, I'm pregnant? It's so funny because how she's talking, I'm like shocked because I'm like, normally you don't talk like this. Yeah, it's, it's more like it's like. You're it's following a script, yeah, almost. But it, I'm like, and it's good on your part because you don't really say too much. Nah, nah. but but I, it's I'm just you don't say too like much it. in general. But she, oh, even if she's lying, listen, it could be cap. It could be cap, and maybe and maybe it's not even his baby. We don't know. But I still go to say, where is a personal accountability on Fred on yeah on Fresh's part? She cannot fake this shit if you don't nut in her. Yeah, the whole religion thing, yeah, but you fornicating, yeah, I'm not buying that. I'm not buying that at all. I don't take, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Here's another thing too. And, and shout out to my Christians that watch me. I'm not saying I'm not a Christian. I'm not saying I am a Christian. I'm just saying shout out to you. You know, I have certain views that y'all disagree with, you know, and you, you bring up biblical scripture. But until y'all stop having premarital sex, I really don't take nothing y'all say seriously. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. Like, people will be out here calling themselves Christians, but shacking up before marriage. No, baby, you're supposed to be abstinent. I watch a lot of Kendra G. 
and then he gotta be Christian. She gotta be Christian. Well, let's just stop having sex until we get married. Then, and all of a sudden, <gasps> and people act like I said bloody murder. Listen, we've been out here uh, dipping and doing it, laying the low and spreading the wide, and we ain't really got much out to shit. Let's just all pull back and let's abstain and let's see if we really like who we're dating. And let's see how that works. Let's try that for a generation and let's just see how that works. No, no, yeah, yeah, it got real quiet. Got real quiet. Wait, what's going on here? Yeah. So again, there was an agreement that they weren't gonna like have kids or anything like that. And then now she's coming in saying, like, oh, I'm pregnant and I don't there's an agreement that we're not gonna have kids, but I keep nutting you and you're not on birth control. What sense does that make? I don't want to kill the baby and all this other stuff. And it's like, what the hell? Like, well, she bro, bought her religion. Yeah. I'm like, what are you doing right now? She's not religious, guys. I'll tell you all that. Yeah. All right, let's let's continue. I want to keep the baby. Okay. Well, like I said, I just don't want any kids. Pause. No. Very obvious fishing for a a response like, uh, what the hell are you doing? Uh, no, uh, no, you better not. Blah blah blah. Like she was trying to fish for an emotional reaction to make you look crazy there. Yeah, hundred percent. All right. We can keep and this is a pretty classic tactic, guys, because the reality is that, I, again, I've done this in a courtroom so many times. I've played these kinds of recordings. I can't tell you how many times I've heard the, what are you doing? No, don't hit me. Oh, my God. What, oh, wow. what is that knife? Why do you have that knife? And meanwhile, my client's like, I was on the other side of the room. <laughs> and I, I had not, I had a banana in my hand that I was eating, you know. And she, oh, my God. What is that, that gun you're holding? You know, so. so the, the, or a let me ask you this. If you don't want any kids, wait, let me look up something. Hold up. Let me look up some real quick. I'm going to let that play. Wow. The, the sound, I have heard many times the sound I just heard, and that is the sound of a man who almost sounds like he's got PTSD. But he's like, wait, what are we talking about? What is going on? Like, who am I talking to right now? This sounds insane. Who speaks this way? Who pauses in that way as if for, okay, now let's let you talk. Let's get some dramatic effect going. Like, this is not a conversation between two adults who are talking about something not for performance purposes. Well, he's a public figure. That come with the game. He know what it was when he got with her. Okay, so the cost of a vasectomy in Florida... Is eight hundred dollars. So if you don't want no kids, I'm just saying. If you don't want no kids, this is a real quick and simple solution right here. Why they don't never go do this? They don't want no kids. I'm just asking. Especially once you're in your 30s. You don't want no kids, just go get snipped. If you're not going to use no condoms, just go get snipped. All this fool had to do is own up. He screwed up and he should be an example of what not to do. Yep. But he takes that. But no, that takes too much common sense. He admit he effed up and he's a flawed hypocrite. Exactly. If he was smart, which he's not, what he should have done was been happy for the baby and came on the show and announced that he was a father, he was gonna be a father, and he was going to show them how to step up, how to be a man, and how to take accountability. They actually could have done a lot of see, they're not bright, they're dumb, they're dumb, they're dumb niggas, they're not bright. They actually they actually could have done a lot of content around fatherhood. Mm hmm Yep. This is what you do. This is what to expect from your woman. This is how things are going to change. Mm-hmm. Could have created your own little father's community. I don't know why more of you niggas don't have father's communities. You should. Y'all know y'all need the help. You missed a big marketing opportunity. 
all because you wanted to kick this girl, this poor Asian girl immigrant while she was down. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. All right. So Fresh and Fit interviewed uh, the poor Asian immigrant. Let's see what they had to say. How do you know? It's been a week. I just feel it. Like Some people are just like that. You know what I'm saying? They're very intuitive. Everything is just... Don't we'll call them what stupid? Carry on. That's not very smart. That's not. That, that, I agree. It's not smart. It's, it's it, like ha maybe, having maybe, kids maybe, with somebody you met a week ago. Maybe. What if he claimed he never wanted a baby? Would that be true? She didn't want. Okay. If he say so. If he really didn't want a baby, after so many times I asked him in person, do not come in me. He does that every fucking day. Like, he can just pull out. Easy as that. Because he was always like, oh, I'm doing this with my girlfriend. So really serious conversation. Like, planning a future and ask me what I want to do. Oh, I want to plan a future with you. Uh, why don't we get a house instead of renting another apartment? That doesn't make sense. Wasting money, blah, blah, blah. And he said... Uh, what what if you get pregnant? Isn't that better for a bigger house? Oh! Is that baby trapping? They're going to end up together. Is that baby trapping? I'm I believe her. I believe her. I believe her. Cause dudes really do be acting like that. We gonna be a family. I'm gonna be there. You can show me how to eat with chopsticks. I'm gonna teach you how to make oxtails. Come meet my mom. She'll teach you how to meet oxtails. Our baby will have good hair. Niggas say anything, especially when they bout the bus. What are we talking about? I'm asking, is that baby trapping? You out here talking about let's get a house together because what if you get pregnant? Is that baby trapping, my brother? I'm just asking. Just asking the question. It's not. It's not. Guys. I understand what you're saying when you're saying it's not, but some of these answers, oh. I think they're irresponsible, but that doesn't mean baby yeah. trapping. No. So I that, exactly. Those are separate things. Exactly. Not pregnant, no baby. She tells that to Walter. He says, oh, you did a pregnancy test? She says, yeah, my period just came and five days ahead, so you play a good game. Okay, what game? Uh, um, this game on bed. I'm confused. Don't worry, we all are. I don't think anybody understood what she meant. And she goes, "Just kidding. I meant you are safe. Just letting you know. Next time you won't be so lucky." Mm. What's that saying? I'm not having a baby. I'm having your baby. Yeah. Next time you're not gonna be so lucky. She told him right there. So how can we be mad at her when she told him right there? She said, all right, all right. Sometimes a woman will tell you, I'm not having no more abortions. You get me pregnant, I'm keeping it. Sometimes, you, you, you know, a lot of times men try to act like women are not straightforward. You got some straightforward ass women. Who will let you know? You do it again. We having this baby. Gone fresh. Gone and get your Burberry shirt. I'm sure you got plenty in your closet. Gone get your Bur your Burberry shirt because we got a baby shower to plan. <laughs> and if you smart, which you not, go ahead and live stream it so y'all can get some donations because you know you need it. You know you need it. That two th that two thousand dollar uh, car payment on that Lamborghini Urus that hit that they hit hard. They hit hard when the AdSense ain't coming through. And what does he write? Oh, I wasn't worried. I didn't want to pull out anyway. 
But that's good that you got your period. So he, oh, so you're being a dick. She's not too happy about it. I didn't reject you because I don't mind being pregnant with your baby. She's being direct. Yeah. She's telling him, and all he says is, no, I'm saying I like you a lot, and once you're happy, I'm happy. So can you understand why she's confused? He but he not he refusing to pull out, busting inside them sugar walls. And now all of a sudden he's been trapped. He don't want to be a dad. You have decided that you were not going to pull out of her vagina. So you are not going to pull out of fatherhood. <laughs> you are not going to pull out of fatherhood. You're going to take care of the baby. He has no choice. He's going to pay. If I say, bro, I'm going to punch you in the face. Yo, I missed last time, but this time I'm going to punch you in your face. And then I punch you in your face. No, no, wait, 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 wait. What is that? Hold up. Is that a sucker punch? No, it's not a sucker punch. Especially if you tell me you're going to punch me in my face and I tell you, whatever makes you happy. And I look at you like. That's called fucking around and finding out. Whatever makes, if you're happy, I'm. Like, raise a baby with me. And he, 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 he didn't, like, say that, but. All the this this his action proves that doesn't mind isn't the same as saying he really wants to have a child. Why don't you get verbal confirmation if he really wanted a child with you? No, because uh, I was pretty sure that he was so serious about me. But then, okay, okay, but at least at least he's not stupid that if he does this to me, I'm gonna get pregnant. I think it's just uh, misunderstood. Maybe he was just being in, in, irresponsible but for me he's serious yeah yeah because i've never met someone like that nobody would treat me like that like this is <laughs> I've never met like that. i'm not acting like a naive girl right here like i traveled a lot of places but nothing like this see that didn't make much sense to me because in my head i'm like so you want to be serious with somebody and you want to have a child with them but you're not getting them to verbally say they also really want to have a child with. Shouldn't that be something y'all establish properly? Mm. And how, how long have they been to, together? Four or five months. They be busting inside her sugar walls every day, never pulling out. Can you show paperwork for pregnancy tests and ultrasound? A lot of people are saying that stuff is photoshopped or whatever, or it's just like, so I just wanted to at least see if she had actual real paperwork. Uh, Yeah, I have no problem sharing that. I actually posted... So, uh, okay, so let me explain about the ultrasound. The doctor told me it's still early, four weeks. So he can't, she can't see everything, but she can still see a little bit, like a small quarter of it. But it's just like too, it's too early, you know? It's four weeks. How did you know Pug C was the man to bust inside your sugar walls? I oh. have no idea. <laughs> I just, I just feel like... I just feel like maybe everything happens. It was meant to be, you know, to meet him even. Uh, out of uh, out of all the people in Miami, uh, every day I go out, I get so many. Um, how to say? Um, approach every day, uh, wherever. The night we met at the party, and there were other guys. There were like another guy. He's really, really into me. So Fresh was there as well. And I just don't know, like somehow he just got me curious. Everybody, like out of everybody, like when they see me, they see me interesting, they would come talk to me or oh, making some nonsense. But this guy, he was just like staring at me, not saying anything, like full of questioning on his face. That just caused my curiosity. So usually, um, you know, I get a lot of approach, so it's not interesting for me. So I was like, okay, who's this guy? And then, okay, finally he said hi to me. He's like, where are you from? And I said, guess if you're right, um, I will drink. If you're wrong, then you drink. So he was like, okay, this is interesting. And then he DM'd me. And then we went out. Uh, he kind of, he's romantic. He's good at planning dates. And he's kind of dominate. He was yeah. just good at everything. You know? He was saying things to yeah. me that made, made me feel I'm still thinking y'all talking about he dominant. Girl, he dominant because you don't speak English. <laughs> he led the way because you don't speak English.
Let me tell you something, you poor Asian immigrant. Dominant in the bedroom does not mean dominant in general. I think a lot of people... Like, he might have stretched your walls in ways they had never been stretched. But that doesn't make him dominant in real life. What you found out was that that's all he had to offer. That was all he had to offer to those thousand fat-ass white women before he got on that banana boat, and that's all he has to offer to you. Like, why don't y'all just... See, I'm not a woman, but why don't you just enjoy the dangling and then go back to your people? You understand what I'm saying? Because, you know, Asian twat is like naturally real tight and real shallow. So even if you average, it feels huge to them. Like they'll make you feel like the man. They, I mean, you, it, it don't matter what you got. You you going you, you gonna to feel like you fucking Lexington still. We wanted them. Even when they go overseas, a lot of times the black men they love being called ele- uh, ele- they call uh, ele- elephant cock is what they call them over there in them Asian countries. They love that shit. The coochie be tight, 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 and real shallow. However, just enjoy the shit and then go back to your own people. You expecting marriage out of people that don't... That man wasn't going to... You thought this man was really going to marry you? Good dick don't equal good life. He got game, of course. He's Caribbean. Listen, he's half retarded, but he's still Caribbean. They naturally just got game. It is what it is. Now, I know Walt, <laughs> Lil Ugly. I know Lil Ugly is on the phone right now with some of his aunties that do voodoo. And they got this girl name in a shrine somewhere doing their best to cut goats and sacrifice chickens so this girl can miscarry. It may or may not work. Both y'all ancestors do magic. We gonna see who come through. We gonna see who come through. If she magically miscarried, we already know who won that battle. He, it's real, you know. He was genuine. And he made me feel special. Maybe no matter what other people were saying, like what he did to other girls or or even I found out later, though, not when I just started. You know, what did you think hearing this? What did I think about what? But what you heard right now, I'm not sure. Because there's a whole narrative that this girl was trying to baby trap him or she wasn't really into him. She's there for the money or whatever it is. But when I hear her speak, you notice her face. You see how she smiles when she thinks about him Mm -hmm. and all that stuff. Like, I was actually surprised by this part because everyone's asking the same question. You know what people are asking? Yo, why'd you get with Fresh? Yeah, you've seen him, but you look at her. That's the face of somebody who's actually into him. But she was impressed. So she was like, mm-hmm. Yeah, you got game. Yeah. So, so he, yeah. So, that's just one thing that I want to establish. Okay, why are you exposing him publicly? Why? Why? Because obviously now I hate him. <laughs> I hate him for not being a man, stand up for his child, and not taking the responsibilities after. He can. He can. He doesn't have to love me, or he can break up with me. That's fine for me. It's okay. It's. it's some guy I seen for four months. I was I was like gonna get over with him, but I'm pregnant. This is serious for me. This is just a, a bit of a sidewalk. But Fresh and Fit fan accused Fresh of buying you a bracelet for thirty grand on a podcast. He said he never paid a dime. Nobody has a receipt. Is this true? The Chinese escort. Because I'm about to get Fresh on this one too. So Fresh, you gave an extremely expensive long <laughs> cleave bracelet, which are worth up to thirty k, to a Chinese escort you would just met. No now, way. You claim that you didn't give her the gift. That's what you claim. So many proof. But the escort says that you did. Look at her page in detail. What does she have under? Multiple gifts. From herself, by the way, or from her ex. Whatever she does for her money, bro, is up to her. 
So to put that on me, just because you want to say, oh, fresh is a simp, wrong. So you didn't buy it. So can you no, stop? you're just trying to say that he bought the bracelet. He didn't buy the mm-hmm. bracelet. And no, it's not true. He he paid he paid half and I paid half. Like like I said, he paid half and I so he did buy the bracelet. Now this is where I guess everybody disagrees with me. Listen, I listen. Now y'all can disagree. I'm I'm okay with tussling with y'all. I don't see nothing wrong with the fact that he bought the bracelet or went half on the bracelet. Like, why can't a man buy women things? Women expensive as hell. You're going to pay for them one way or another. These niggas that get online talking about, I ain't never paid for Yes, you do. Money, energy, attention, or time, you're going to give her something. Ain't no coochie coming for free. You mean to tell me if I come over, I can't fill your 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 refrigerator up? Now I'm talking regular folk talk, not fifteen thousand on a stupid ass bracelet. I can't uh 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 fill your refrigerator up. I can't fill your deep freezer up. We about to hit a we about to hit a solar eclipse. I can't make sure you got some batteries and some band aids, whatever the hell. Yeah, it's not a gift you have to be, but it's 50, still. My point is, what's wrong with buying a woman something? May you be watching? Yes, I watch CGA. Absolutely. Shout out to Coach Greg Adams. Absolutely. You're going to pay for a woman. Niggas that say they don't, it, it, you, listen. Think about the act of sex. Think about the act of sex. Punching a woman with your meat. Bow, 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 bow. Pounding her out. Pounding her out. Now, that's what she made for, to be pounded out, using her throat. All kind of nasty, disgusting shit. Balls on her chin, teabagging her, eating your ass. And you think after you do all that, and then you skeet on her and make her a human toaster strudel, and you think you ain't finna pay for that? You think you can just use some shit and not give anything? Come on, now. Yes, the woman, and, and honestly, a lot of times the women don't even get enjoyment out of it. Now, quiet as is kept, women get enjoyment from sex from a few select men on the roster. Then there's some that give okay, and then there's some that she can't wait till you fucking come. And you ain't going to give her nothing? At the very least, your time and attention? And then you wonder why she go crazy? You skeet all over her. Don't even, don't even have respect for the fact she just got her hair done. Now she gotta go get it redone. Don't need squirt. Uh, uh, you come all in her eyes, no, not knowing that come in your eye burn like hell. Then you, then you, you fucking lay down. You don't even get up and go get a towel. Then half you niggas at your house don't even use good fabric softener, so you got rough ass tiles. So now she's scratching up her skin and her face when she take a shower at your place. Who raised you niggas? You don't even take the time to go and get the water hot, so you can wipe her down and really wipe the nut off of her. Not cold ass water that make the nut smear. And then you wonder why she out of line and, and crazy. Money, energy, attention, or time. You're going to give up something. 
You cannot pound something out. Use it using all of her holes. Because nowadays you niggas act like you can't live without the booty. You don't even say that for marriage. You gotta have a booty now. So now women feel like they gotta give up the ass. You know how much work that is to give up your ass? You don't know how to use lube correctly. You don't know how to take your time. You don't know how to prep her. You don't know what you're doing. And she put she lay there through all of that. And you can't pay a bill. You can't get her hair done. You can't go fix some. Half, well, half of us ain't had no fucking daddy, so we don't even know how to fix shit around your house. So we got to wait and call the maintenance man. I'm just saying. Men are supposed. Men are supposed to give. What are you niggas doing? Cause I'm gonna pay a bill or two. I'm gonna pay a bill or two, but you gonna open up them legs. It's a give and a take. I don't think you were sent for buying a woman something. Buy what? Buy some flowers. Buy some chocolate. Buy some kids. Hell, pay for. Uh, 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 give, give her kids some damn lunch money. You know how many women walk around and don't nobody do nothing for them? They will feel good. You just take a little bit off their shit. You know, you know. <laughs> Lord don't say simps are my type. Listen, every man is a simp to a certain degree if you like women. You have two choices. You either sell a little bit or you just deal with prostitutes and escorts for the rest of your life and you pay up front. And you can do that too. You know, I just, you know, you don't want to be like Kevin Samuels when, you know, then your heart give out after, you know, a fat ass Mexican on top of you and she don't even know how to give you CPR. She don't even know what address you at and, and, where, and, and where to tell 911 to send the ambulance because that was her first time at your house. So she don't even know to tell them park behind the building, come in building 14. She barely know where she at. She just know she in Bughead. A lot of y'all talk about them nagging ass, fat ass black women, but you need that in your life. She'll make sure you take you make sure you take your medicine. She'll make sure your black ass go to the doctor. And some of y'all need to get you a fat ass black woman because you a fat ass black man. I'm still trying to understand why fat people don't want to be with other fat people. You like to eat, she like to eat. Anyway. How much around 30K? Uh, well, first, I, I still have the conversation. I told him, what's the issue if you tell everyone you bought me the bracelet? Like, why can't you tell everyone? Why can't you speak the truth? Like, why are you, like, pretending it, like, hiding it? But then he was like, don't say it. He just told me to shut up. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. It's a big deal to them. Yes. It's a big deal to the fans, and it's a big deal to them because yes. it really makes you look like I see them. Yep. I wouldn't give a shit. You give things to people. You give things to people that you appreciate. Turn Fifteen out. grand. Wait a minute. <laughs> Some of you just met, but these guys always want to claim they don't pay for nothing. They don't oh. do none of this stuff. They, they don't. Have. They don't use their money to get. But you realize they all do it. They all doing it. You, they're they're paying for random girls' apartments. They're all doing this kind of stuff. So why is he lying? Not because it's a big deal. But it's like Preach said, it's a big deal to the fans. And now you have to double down, triple down on the lie. And it's almost insulting because your fans are being like, yo, are you living up to your principle? And you're like, yes, I am. You guys are lying and saying I'm not. When you just ask the girl, it's just like, oh, no, he's lying about it. So 
the only reason I brought this up is because Fresh can't be trusted about what he says on this topic because he's already proven time and time again he's going to lie to protect his reputation. Do you think that all this is good for your future baby? That's another good fucking question. Yeah. It's not. That's why I... In the beginning... It's not good for the baby, actually. Girl, don't play um, the theories, though. That's why I'm just... I just want to tell the truth. Because when I, when I first test positive, and I was just kind of shocked because I just want to see where he got heads at. And then I... I try to like talk to him. I called him. I text him. He acts like nothing happened. Like not my business. Like woman, not my business. Deal with deal with it. Damn. We're not together. Like don't call me. Don't text me. Things like that. That's that was his behavior. I have a thirty-seven minutes conversation between me and him. What if you think we don't keep the baby because we're not together anymore? Things happens, and I'm gonna take care of you. I'm gonna take you to the hospital. That would be fine. I would be okay. But he the, he did completely the other the other way around. That just that just made me so sad. That just made me so sad. How can you how can you uh you 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 said you love me like mm. literally two weeks ago and wanted to play a future with me and now you you're acting like this with me. Uh, when did you tell him you're pregnant? Uh, on the thirtieth. Yeah, because, yeah, I call. Now, ladies, how often do men do that? How often do men, I, I just want to know from the ladies in the chat, because men men say you should have chose better, you knew better, and in some cases that is true, but I, I'm just interested in knowing, because I'm not a woman, how many of y'all have a man tell you he love you, he want to marry you, he want the baby, and then he change up when, when you get pregnant? All the time, all the time, all the time. Mm. Mm. I'm seeing a lot of all the times. Mmm. These men like, <laughs> like a virgin rug. Ooh wee. Mm, just saying. Told him immediately. Um when when I exposed him, when I when I start to decide to expose him. Right there, I'd asked her, when did you call the lawyer? Mm. So she, she, uh, so essentially what happened was she called him on the 30th of March, being like, hey, wait, 30th of March? Am I thinking the right date? What are, what are we right now? March. Or April. Or April? Okay, I'm oh, sorry. So we called her on 30th of March, telling him she's pregnant. And I think on April 4th, that's when she started exposing him. So yeah, on April she, 4th. denied and everything. Is yeah, because right. when she contacted him, He's just like, bro, I don't know you. Get the fuck away from me. I'm like, no, that's your problem. Go deal with it. And so she's like, yo, you got me pregnant. You're just going to disappear on me. So when she exposed her, she's like, I'm calling a lawyer. I'm going to figure this whole shit out. And so that's the timeline of how things went down. It's two plus two. Four. Two plus two is four. Yeah. Yeah. That's my, that's my thing. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I then I asked her, who decided that? Who decided that? That's just logic. That's just uh, the math. Without without this, the world doesn't function. You can't count on anything. Everybody knows that. Um, idiot. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I needed to know the answer. You're okay. not good. Okay. You're <laughs> He's uh, probably undereducated. Uh, he, well, he doesn't have anything else to say on the podcast. Uh, but you let this dummy bust inside you. Why? <laughs> I mean, you can't talk shit about God it. God damn. He was throwing in your sugar walls. I'm just saying. You know? God damn, Abba. Yeah, yeah, but I didn't realize that before because I, <laughs> I just thought he's funny. 
then then you're you know, gonna end like, up with a dumb baby. <laughs> <laughs> um, any regrets about the, how this whole thing has unfolded so far? Uh, yeah, first for being so dumb, letting him come inside on me without marriage. Um, and I don't, I don't regret exposing. I don't. Yeah. What's who, who's Abba? I asked her if she's gonna have a boy. Does she know what she's gonna name him? I don't know. Don't ask me this question because I don't, I don't, I haven't decided yet. What about the name Abba? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is well, scary. So many DMs already that they want to step in and they want to be the stepfather. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Oh, already. Things are stepping in trying to be the stepdaddy. Step in the name of I, love. I will say this. Step in the name of love. If you end up having legal troubles and they sue you or whatever, if you name that kid after me, I'll pay for all your legal troubles. Oh, that's a promise. Oh, now that right there to be the ultimate fuck. <laughs> you want to talk about petty? Look, ugly, you better you better give this girl some money for your baby fucking around to be named Abba. That is messy. That is me. Wow. So if you need a help financing a lawyer to fight off Fresh Fit, man, you mean if uh, if Walter Jr. over there got the name Abba, I'll pay all them bills. I'll sleep. I'll hey, listen. As far as I'm concerned, I think you deserve every dime. What's her name? We don't know her last name. Daisy. That's what we don't call her. Okay. Imagine she names him Abba Preach Daisy. <laughs> I'm paying them legal fees. I will I will double the video output on this channel to pay for little Abba Preach Daisy to get all that child support. Every dime. If that nigga's gonna have Walter's genetics, she deserves child support. Yeah, he gonna need every financial advantage to be able to make it a life. And he gonna have pug CEO's genetics. I'm with it. Okay. That's a promise, Daisy. Just, just drop our names. Even if it's just middle names, I'll take that. I just want my legacy. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't lie. That's gangster. I've said so. I'll pay every I, dime. I, I said so. Oh, to be clear, guys, I'm not joking. I will pay for the lawyer if that baby has my name in. You don't even know how much a lawyer fee can be, bro. Do you see how I live my life? You don't think I got money to spend? Damn, this will be one of the greatest hobbies I will ever undertake. I was looking straight at the camera and I didn't flinch. You better not. And I'll say this too. I'm going to also encourage her to make sure she share custody. So that every time little Abba preach Daisy go up to Walter, she goes, Papa, say my name. Dada. <laughs> oh. That's crazy. Hey, listen, you know what they say, right? Revenge is a dish best served with some child support. You're going to have <laughs> That's crazy. Great. Thank you so much. Okay. Have a good day. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll stop. I'll stop. I'll stop. I'll stop. couple things. So they had had discussions in private. Uh, text messages are right here. Mm -hmm. Where, okay, so a couple of weeks back, she taken a pregnancy test. This is like maybe a month and a half ago. And she goes, hey, listen, guys, at the end of the day, this is what I think. And this goes to all, all right. the So that's enough of that. Y'all can go there uh, to Abbott and Preach if y'all want to see the rest of it. Listen. Listen. They squeaky floor has made them a lot of money. <laughs> that's some Diddy shit. Take a man's son and give him your name. Now, that's, that's some Diddy stuff right there. That's some Diddy stuff. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Any final comments before we get up out of here? Moody by AJ says Storm is Genie and Jeezy part two. It really is. It really is. Abba is an Ethiopian prince. Oh, my God. That's some funny shit. 
Tell me, tell somebody, oh, you name them Storm. I'll, <laughs> I'll pay you $30,000. Like, that's wild. That's funny, though. Hello, Hunter. Yes, sir. Super petty. Diddy coded. We talked about Aoki yesterday. Um, let's see. That was Abba and Preach that we just got through watching. Preach is Canadian, Abba is Ethiopian. Yeah, Preach is Haitian Canadian, right? Pretty sure he's Haitian. Whew. All right, people, thank you so much for tuning in. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, share if you care, and I will catch you all later. Uh, it's Storm Show. Hey, it's Storm Show.